last day of rescue school, which is a five week uh, program teaching five of our technical rescue disciplines. Um, this last week we've been doing vehicle extrication. So on the last day today, the students are uh, uh, lifting and stabilizing some large vehicles. We just finished um, an under ride scenario. That's when we have a, like a passenger size vehicle that's trapped under a large vehicle. So we had a, uh, a garbage truck that's, that's sitting on top of a, a sedan. So the students today stabilized, then lifted that garbage truck um, to get the passenger vehicle out from under it. Ten pumps! Ten pumps! Ten pumps. One, two, three, four, five. So they have to do several things. They have to stop the crush that's happening to the smaller vehicle. Uh, they have to stabilize both vehicles so they don't, don't move anymore. Um, and then they have to lift the larger vehicle. Uh, and part of that is a, a significant part of that scenario or evolution is estimating weights, um, understanding how to figure weights for vehicles, how to read vehicles, um, understand some of their systems, uh, their air systems, air brakes, and hydraulic systems. Um, and so that's what they went through today. It's pretty long evolution, they did a great job, uh, and that's what our rescue school is about. So my name is Gabe Ramirez. Uh, I've been a firefighter for a little less than three years. This course in its entirety has been amazing. Lots of different things to really come, that makes me feel more competent in uh, rescue scenarios, slash and overall being a firefighter. Three, four, five. Justin Austin's my name. Um, I've been a firefighter for just under four years. I got the opportunity to attend heavy rescue school. It's the first time that UFA has been able to put something like that on and it was one of the most humbling experiences I could have possibly been a part of. Um, from learning about all the disciplines that go with heavy rescue, such as rope, trench, extrication, confined space, all of those go into it where every single thing played on each other and it was overall just humbling with every discipline that we covered. My respect for the individuals that are already a part of this this program has just immensely grown with the wealth of knowledge that they are willing to provide to their students. The heavy rescue program, uh, in my estimation, brings a significant value to the, to the fire department, right? Um, Unified Fire Authority is the really the largest fire department, not only in the state, but the region. Um, we cover roughly half a million people in the Salt Lake Valley. Because of that, um, we have these eventualities that are going to occur in our jurisdictions, right, in the communities we serve. There's inevitably going to be a large vehicle that lands on top of a small vehicle and trapping patients. It doesn't happen every day, but when it does, we have to be prepared to address it. The Heavy Rescue really provides about seven additional services to the regular fire and medical emergency services that we provide. As I said, for this week we're covering extrication. That is uh, disentangling people from vehicles and vehicle uh, crashes. We cover confined space rescue, trench rescue, rope rescue, structural collapse rescue, and then we additionally provide rapid intervention, which is the rescue of the firefighters who are fighting fires and, and suffer an emergency. And then we also uh, cover swift water and standing water rescue. Any uh, prospective firefighters out there who are looking at the job, thinking it might be for them, dive into what we do. It's a fantastic job. Uh, and here in the Unified Fire Authority, we have so many opportunities, right? You can specialize in paramedicine. Uh, you can be an engineer operating our fire engines and, and uh, fire trucks, right? You can go to hazmat school, heavy rescue school. There are tons of wildland firefighter opportunities as well. So kind of the, uh, the county is your oyster. Right, with regard to training um, and specializing here at Unified Fire Authority. So uh, come check us out.